Tinubu's team cry out as he sidelines their advice, which is now causing economic chaos. <laughs> I know they are all pretending. And that is why they will come and be justifying what is not. In the act of trying to defend him, they are making a lot of mistakes because their defense is not even making sense. And you will hear some people telling us that, say, eh, all the presidential candidates, all of them promised that they were going to remove a subsidy. Remove, a subsidy. So why is it that eh, they are now making it as if it is only APC that talks about a for, so, subsidy remover? And they are forgetting that eh, they are processes at which they are going to be removing this subsidy and that was one of the reasons why Buhari in the first place did not even bother to remove it and he came out and told Nigerians he didn't remove the first subsidy so that uh, Tinubu will win and Tinubu in his arrogance just came out that day and told Nigerians the day was sworn in this guy hit the ground running by inflicting hardship and suffering on the people that is his own definition of eating the grand running at the end of the day that very day all the supporters all the advisors came out and told us ah it was not in the inaugural speech and eh, this and this and that and eh, what he meant was that the buari has already removed the first subsidy so he's just trying to let nigerians know but that was not what he meant because later when this man went to france he was he, he was making mouth. He was telling Nigerians there that uh, he did this. He removed it. When people are now saying that he's win chanting the mefele, they will say he's not win chanting. How can you say the economy was rotting? Who under whose administration the economy was rotting? You knew economy was rotting, and your so called uh, Buhari, who is the, who was the president, didn't know that the economy was rotting, and you didn't tell him that economy was rotting so that he would have changed uh, a mefele. You went there. He went there to go and implicate himself by saying that. Uh, uh, and already said it that the reason why Emifele brought all those policies he brought was because of him, so that they didn't want him to win. So now you are holding this man. So how do you expect? How do you expect a? Uh, or why do you think Nigerians will not think that uh, you are winchanting him? No. Well, that is by the way, sir. The bone of contention now is that the economic team were even saying that this uh, subsidy remover will be done batch, batch by batch. That was what they planned. But Tinubu just on the inauguration day, he just went above. And he said it. He went to the front, he went to France and said his economic team were even surprised that that was not what they all planned that they were going to do. But all of a sudden, he just did what he had to do, not even having any plan. Had he been he already had already he had his own plan on how to cushion the effect. Two months down the line, they are talking of palliative. Now they have increased the fuel two times now. And the palliative has not even come, which Nigerians are saying, use the palliative to repair refinery. Why is it that these guys are afraid of refer repairing refineries and do something that everybody will be part of? Now there's a review. It quickly said there should be a review. There's no review. There's no amount you are going to pay anybody. In as much it has a, a time limit, it's not going to work. Do things that both the rich and the poor will enjoy. At the end of the day, what when you do something that everybody will enjoy, you see that even rich people on their own they will even believe some of those things for the poor people and the poor people will have more than enough to a very large extent now the economic team they are they are not happy because what did if he didn't do what he did the very first day he he, he called it a written the ground running all this problem wouldn't have been things would have been done gradually this is the person where they say he built lagos so, that he worked with a mobile that is a this and that oh, is a strategy so somebody who is a strategist which himself and his team economy team they plan that this subsidy we are going to be doing it gradually gradually so that it will not affect the people all of a sudden but what they said different from immediately he just say he just did a different thing he just did a different thing from what they said and the thing is affecting all of them that is why you say that they are trying to patch it up try to defend but in their defense it's not making sense in their defense it's not making sense so who are they going to be holding responsible they just have to to, to bear it they just have to bear it it's so unfortunate really really unfortunate it is what they have signed for let's see how all of this will pan out nigerians are the ones 
bearing the bronze. Niger Nigerians are the one suffering this whole thing. How can somebody just be talking anyhow? And that was the reason why he couldn't even say much during a campaign. He didn't have what to say. He went to Chatham House and be telling them that, you know what? Oh, it's a team ship thing. It's a team ship thing. Now the mess that he has created, they are trying to, to clean it. The same man is talking about a review. He's calling for is is the review of the palliative. Yeah, you be that is to tell you that he doesn't even have a he doesn't have plan anywhere by left is because as a somebody who is experienced in Nigeria politics, you know that as you are doing some things, there are a lot of loopholes that you are going to be creating for people who want to sabotage it. You ought to have fact thought all of those things in and block as many things that you can block from those who want to sabotage it. No, he didn't do that. He did it so that he, he did it ar ar arrogantly. And that is why there is a problem. Because I see no reason why, in the first place, you are not telling us that uh, you want to review the the uh, palliative. Is that how it ought to be done? Oh, that is not how it ought to be done. You know how that for the review. What are you reviewing? Hmm? Uh, some people say, if we remain patient, we will be getting better at the end of God. Uh, at, the, at the end, God willing, continue. <laughs> Tinubu love signing everything that gets his way without a, a second thought of reviewing what he is signing for that is why he is getting into much trouble it's no be so not so so guys leave your comment down there below and let's have your take